Welcome to Computer Science Labs. We would like to introduce you to our latest featured product, the soon to be released Data Compass from our partner Salvation Data. This presentation will give a brief introduction to how it is used and some of its unique capabilities. The functions Data Compass offers include recovery of data from drives with even severe physical defects in the user data area. It can recover data from Hitachi drives with physical defects in the firmware service area. These drives would previously have been considered unrecoverable. Recovery of data from the dreaded clicking drives and drives that have undergone head replacement. It offers cloning of drive contents with a read-only option to safeguard original data. And extraction and recovery of files using the accompanying Data Recovery Studio software. Data Compass boasts a range of features many unique to the product, including Data fetching techniques allow UDMA 100 data transfer speeds when UDMA mode is selected. The disk shadowing function allows simultaneous cloning and file recovery. This saves time and increases efficiency. DRS algorithms restore lost file directories and search for lost file headers that operating systems cannot detect. DBER techniques allow forward and backward skipping of defective sectors using so-called leapback techniques. High efficiency power supply system function overcomes problems with unstable heads or severe bad sectors by increasing head currents to maximize response. Individually configurable readiness, retry and reset times allow optimization of the recovery process. Integral power protection and regulation protects heads from the effects of prolonged reading of large bad sector areas. As a demonstration of the product's capabilities, the following case study relates to a Fujitsu drive that was suffering severe physical bad sectors. This had rendered the data inaccessible. Despite several cloning attempts with the leading data recovery applications, the file system could still not be detected. We shall now show what happened when the drive was connected via Data Compass. Here we see the Data Compass front panel. Power is applied to the drive and after a short delay the status should be seen as ready. On the left hand side switches have been set to enable the read process but the write process has not been enabled to safeguard the original data. Various other switches here allow setting of mode, sector mapping and readiness and retry times all of which allow configuration of the data recovery process. A useful first check is carried out by going to the sector view screen and by viewing a sample of sectors from the drive this confirms that data is being correctly read from it. On opening the data recovery studio software we can see that the drive has been correctly identified and that a 7.87 gigabyte NTFS partition has been detected. Because this partition has been detected straight away it's simply a case of highlighting it and opening it using the open button on the right hand side of the screen. This reveals the directory structure. A file list can be exported of this using the export file list button on the right hand side. Opening folders reveals the files in within and these can be viewed using the various buttons at the top of the screen. For example, a file can be viewed in hex format can be viewed as text can be viewed as an image or as video and audio form indicating files to be recovered by ticking the boxes then allows the files to be saved to a directory as specified and it's also possible to set limitations on the sort of files not to be recovered Having specified these limitations, clicking on the OK button gives various options before the file recovery process is completed. We hope you have found this introduction interesting. For more details about this unique product, refer to our website or email us at datacompass at computersciencelabs.com. Thank you.